A few years ago, Saatchi Gallery in London King's Road was invaded by giant ants. They crawled all over the walls. It was quite a sight and conjured up a lot of sensory feelings. If you don't like creepy crawlies, it might have given you the shivers. But it was pretty spectacular and close up, these ants were actually fantastic sculptures. But what's this all about? Since 2007, this artist, Rafael Gomez Barros, born in 1972, has taken over many buildings in his native Colombia with these ants. The work is called Casa Tornada, or Seized House, and it represents the displacement of peasants due to war and strife. En masse, these creepy crawlies might look a bit creepy crawly, but up close they are beautiful. They're made of resin and glass fibre, and they're distressed with sand and charcoal to give an earthy look. Specifically, they're a type of ant, a type of cutter ant, which are important to the peasants of Colombia, his native country. Peasants would collect the queen ants and sell them as a delicacy, raising money. And this was a key important thing for these peasants to do, to survive, essentially. If anybody wants the recipe, the queen ants were found, the wings were taken off, put in salt water and then roasted. Maybe don't knock it till you try it. These ants each represent peasants. At once they're hard working and on the other hand they're seen as pests. It's a seriously poignant message that this artist is trying to get across and especially relevant in this 21st century where the idea of peasants, displacement, war and immigration is central to our world. This artist has produced more artwork with a similar theme, one in particular, giant wasps' nests, on which he drew some maps to give the idea of belonging and displacement. But enough of ants for now. Next, we're going to look at an American Chinese artist who produces canvases and prints with fantastic colour. Don't forget to subscribe. See the button here.